it took a while for us to discover all the ways Wave can make you more productive because we were so used to older tools. In fact, we're still discovering new ways all the time. I'll show you that by opening a Wave and using playback to tell you what happened. Uh, someone on our team wanted to create a movie outing, and we should all go see the Transformers. So he sent a wave out, and people did something very email-like and responded. I'm interested. What place are you going to? Is that really a good movie? And so on. So when you look at this wave, it's sort of par hard to parse out the important information of who wants to go. So somebody suggested we should all edit the opening message instead of putting it in individual messages. And we cleaned up the wave. Everyone started editing the opening message, and so on. This was a much better way to construct this RSVP list. And we could still have discussions about which card to take and so on. Now, we're all engineers, and you can look at this workflow and think, there are better ways, or there are ways to make this even better using our extensions. So another engineer on our team wrote a gadget. We call this the yes, no, maybe gadget. So if you, it's hard to see for you guys, I know, but I'm currently a no in the middle column, and I'm going to change it to maybe. And you see it update on Lars's screen. And I'm currently in the maybe column, and I click the yes over here, and you'll see it quickly updates on both our screens. Don't tell anyone, but we did all this so we could build impossibly fun, addictive games, and we'll show you a few of those now. Lars and I are going to open Sudoku. Huh. Huh. And we intended for this to be a collaborative game so we could solve the puzzle together, but somehow it turned competitive. <laughs> and uh, you get a point for making a good move and a negative point for doing something wrong. You can see Lars's score is going negative. How can you play Sudoku in front of 4,000 people? Come on. Then uh, back in 1851, Lars and I played this chess game that became very famous. It ended in 23 moves. And it illustrates how well playback works with gadgets. So if I go into playback and I click forward, you can actually step through the whole game. So as we mentioned in the beginning, we come from the Maps team. So probably wouldn't be a good demo if we didn't do a Maps gadget as well. It's been a lot of work to prepare for this demo, so I'm going to send a Lars a wave about taking a vacation. Stephanie's favorite topic, she wants to go on vacation in Bora Bora. She's asking me for recommendations. I highlight the term Bora Bora here, and then I click this button that's provided by an extension that you guys could have written that inserts a map to Bora Bora. Now, the important thing is my hands are off of my computer, but my screen is still on the right. And now I click the satellite button, and it changes on both screens. And I go zoom, 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 zoom. And now Stephanie loves swimming with sharks. I happen to know that the lemon sharks hang over here. And you can see as I put that marker on, it shows up live over on Stephanie's screen. Now my hands are off. And I'll pick up the polygon tool, and I'll tell Lars, actually, I want to stay in this area. And you see that showing up on my screen, too. <laughs>